Hello Team Scorpio, it's Empire333 here with your love reading. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. If you're new, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The energies can go either way, so pick whichever side you're on. And this will not resonate with every single Scorpio on planet Earth. Check your other placements. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit your story. There are so many other readers on YouTube here. You can check out their videos, okay? So, Scorpio, I hope you're doing well and you're safe wherever you are in the world. I'm going to start with the oracles and then we'll get into the tarot. This is the first deck I'll be using. All the decks I use are down below, so check them out if you'd like. So, first card we get is from Spirit here, and this is about the Ascended Masters. So... This is about the Ascended Masters, represented by the Dove is Jesus, okay? You don't have to be religious to believe in whatever is represented by this card. The other one is the Lotus here, that is um, Buddha, okay? So what this means is that there's some sort of chaos going into in your life, okay? So it could be you don't feel the chaos, but there's something inside of you that is in um, disalignment, okay? If there's, there's something that, this is what I want to say. It's like there's a part of you that needs to be healed, but there's a part of you fighting it, resisting that, okay? And um, here, Jesus is represented by the peace sign, um, I mean, by the dove, which is the peace sign, okay, to bring peace into your life, which is first bringing peace within yourself, okay, because when you have peace within yourself, everything around you is peaceful, no matter what's going on, you still feel at peace, you're centered, you're grounded, okay, the other thing here is the lotus, which grows through murky waters, but which is like, you know, all the the basically crappy stuff that you go through, but then you emerge as the lotus flower, okay? It's like you master all the, all the challenges, the obstacles, everything you're going through. So that's represented by Buddha, okay? So these Ascended Masters are with you. If you like, you can ask them for help to move through whatever you're going through right now, because I feel like there's parts of you that is being released, okay, and you're fighting against it, okay? So I can't say specifically, this is not a personal reading, but keep in mind, there's some type of fear that is overcoming you when it has to do with releasing something. So it could be a belief pattern, it could be a type of consciousness that is, hasn't been working out for you, and you're just kind of scared to to transform it or to release that part of you but I do feel like it's holding you back Scorpio so whatever it is think about it and ask the ascended masters or spirit any kind of spirit whoever you believe in okay to help you kind of navigate this not that you know you were bad before this has nothing to do with that it has to do with some type of um unhealthy attachment this could be to a person too so keep that in mind doesn't have to be but it could be just a belief pattern that you're holding on to that you need to let go of because um it's like you're on the road to mastery mastering something is what they're telling me because the ascended masters are masters okay so it's like to get you on your path so this is the Illuminati. Let's see. Ooh, wow. Okay. All right, let's see. All right. Well, okay. So, what I feel is that, um, Whoever you're dealing with, Scorpio, I do feel like there was some type of communication in the past. Maybe somebody reached out to you um, recently, but what I feel like there's this, this communication that stopped, okay? And um, things are not moving forward for you and this person, okay? 
we got this is the ace of swords and then we got the wheel of fortune okay so what i feel like whatever that you're working on with someone whoever you're connecting with it has a lot to do with time it has to do with divine timing okay because right now what they're telling me is there's some type of um conflicts that are going on with this person and this could have to do with things that are going on in their life so timing here in order to move forward like both of you kind of feel stuck or you feel like this person all of a sudden maybe um, communication is less or they cut you off or something like that is going on and what it's saying here is that divine timing has something to do with this connection moving forward okay so let's get into your the other person this could be you or the other person so um but this is the witch's tarot so let's get into the other person's energy and then we'll get back this is crazy this when i was pre-shuffling popped up okay so this is the energy i was getting for you and this is about having courage so what i feel like is that some of you um possibly could hold be holding back parts of you when it has to do with this connection maybe you're kind of in fear to say too much or you're in fear to express whatever it is that you feel but um what spirit is saying here is there needs to be a balance between your courage and um how should i say it speaking your truth okay being strong but yet keeping your heart open so it could be with this person you could have been holding back because you know of past relationships that didn't work out and so forth but spirit is here to say like um have the courage to balance out okay what your heart is feeling and what you're speaking so there has to do something with speaking so this person here that you've been dealing with scorpio it could be that they were being honest with you um or straightforward i should say but you're trying it's like you feel like you have to hold back for some reason and i feel like it has to do a lot with some type of past energy maybe you didn't really heal um okay you've been lied to a lot is what i'm getting you've been lied to a lot okay so you know what i just got huh, this is all coming out so weird okay so this is what i want to say um the energies i'm feeling with this connection is you're bringing past so you could be bring bringing like a past relationship into this connection what does that have to do with that has to do with things you didn't heal from a past relationship so this person who you're dealing with i don't know yet but this could be like someone who's just being honest with you okay and maybe their life is just you know chaotic or there's things that are going in their life that are just you know not working out for them and possibly that's why you both disconnected but i have a feeling of you being impatient when it goes to things moving forward with you and this person okay this is a temperance card here and this is about i feel like both of you at this time are thinking should i reconnect with this person or not there's something going through your mind that is like okay um i do feel like it's about balancing emotions, of course, but I feel like there's this past energy you're bringing into this connection and that's not working out. So I don't know whether you want this person, you know, you want to continue with this person or reconnect is what I'm getting, but this has a lot to do with this, whoever's on this side, okay, that's hesitant, that is holding back, okay, from saying how they feel about this connection saying you know where their emotions lie this is about um someone 
not seeing things could work out. Oh, and this is what I'm, this is what spirit is saying. I don't know who is listening to something that is, um, and I'm not going to like, I don't know. I don't even know who you're listening to. Okay. I'm not even going to go into that because we don't have a lot of time here, but you know how you listen to things and they're like, pay attention to the red flags and blah, 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 okay? So you could, you know, that is true to some sense, but if you're still stuck in the energies of a past relationship, of course you're going to see everything as red flags because you become paranoid. Do you understand? So if you're listening, you listen to something recently, they're like, pay attention to the red flags. It could be a reading, you know, or it could be like a coach or someone who's like, pay attention to the red flags. If someone does this, then that. It's like, you know what? You can't base off every relationship off of something you hear, okay? You, every story is different. So pay attention to what this person, how they're acting and whatnot. Because what I'm getting here is that there's something you need to release. And we got that from the beginning, right? We got that with the spirit card. There's something you need to release, some kind of idea of, you know, putting people in themes and labels is what they're telling me, okay? Um, to release that, to, in order to bring balance to your emotions, because I feel like your emotions are all over the place when it has to do with this person, okay? One minute you're like, okay, they, well, they're sweet, but they're this, but they did that. And that's, that's going to be a red flag. So there's this like um, overthinking, over worrying, I have to say. But know that it has to do with past energies, okay? Know that it has to do with maybe this person is, is, is um, being slow with how you move forward. They've been slow. But that doesn't mean that it will never happen, okay? So it's kind of like your belief pattern on how certain actions or certain things people say um, that is affecting this connection, okay? So maybe it's from an ex, maybe it's from what you're hearing on, you know, the TV or whatever, on YouTube, whatever it is, it's like go within and really listen to what your intuition is telling you, okay? Because what I'm getting here, you both are mirroring each other. It's like, this person, though, I feel, whoever this is, it's like they were pretty being straightforward with you. I don't see this person as, you know, conniving or anything like that. It's just that they're taking their time. But this is spirit saying, you know what? You have to honor um, your truth, okay? So it's it may be you're holding back something to tell them. Because you think that, oh, it's going to mess up something or whatever it is, okay? Truth is always good when it's spoken from a place of compassion, okay? And from a place of, you know, your higher self. And that's why we have the ego here, okay? Because you always, when you speak your truth, you're going to have victory regardless. So let's go back to this other person. I feel like your person here... There's some conflict that they're going through. And I feel like that's why it's like they're, this is kind of like you feel like, oh, you know, maybe they don't have feelings for me. Maybe they don't want to, you know, continue this. But maybe like that's why it's stalling. I feel like something is stalling here. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. This is interesting. Oh. <clears throat> okay. This is interesting. So you this person here, it's like they do want a Russian. It's like if they had it the way they wanted, they would want a Russian. They would want to come and, you know, see you or whatever. <clears throat> but I feel like this person's plans are not working out. So I do have a feeling this person planned to travel to see you, but something got in the way from in this person's life, okay? Whatever this is, five of wands, this could be people, this could be responsibilities, this could be something that is keeping them back. But I feel like this person, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it's like 
they're mad that i don't know if you both had plans to see each other okay you both had plans to see each other or they had a plan to travel to see you i don't know where they are if this is long distance or not for some of you but regardless they had a plan to come see you and i feel like things got stalled or pl plans were canceled maybe they didn't even tell you about this maybe they didn't tell you like hey i want to come see you but what i'm getting is like they want to take action they want to move this forward but something is holding them back something held them back and i feel like something got in the way of this meeting or you know to move things forward because i do feel like this person had the passion to move forward to like rush in to see you they had plans to do this maybe they wanted to surprise you i don't know okay i'm getting surprised for some of you people but this didn't you know come but i do feel like this is in the near future i do feel like they're gonna take action to come see you but right now um there is something being worked on from this person okay there's some kind of conflict being worked on that it's slowing down the progress of your connection okay and so whoa okay sorry guys hold on let's see you your energy scorpio yep okay so here we have you releasing this, um, this could be fear, this could be something toxic. For some of you, I'm getting, you might have this um, attachment, okay? So it could be attachment to this, like I said, a belief pattern that you're trying to release because it's kind of like some of you are, um, some of you have fear of wishing for things to happen okay because in the past you've wished for things and they haven't come through and now it's like you no longer daydream you no longer wish you no longer like put an intention out there um or you don't like mat do any manifestation work you know magic call it what you will and it has to do with their fears from the past okay so i feel like there's some type of disconnection from spirit or your intuition because this is in the reverse, both of these cards, okay? Things are not taking off because you're not listening to your intuition. You're moving more, like you're letting your fears consume you, Scorpio. And I understand because it has a lot to do with the past is what spirit is saying, but listen to your intuition on this one see what your intuition says connect and if you have issues with you know fear or fears creeping in on you ask spirit whoever you believe in whatever you believe in to help you because when fears consume you it's like you don't get the messages clearly about what you're supposed to do next and that's what's holding back this connection um, and clear communication, that's for sure, okay? So listen to your intuition. I'm going to pull a Crystal Angel Healing card for you also. Okay. Stay strong in your faith, Dolomite. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it could be fear or like negativity is taking over and you know that's normal because we all go through crap in life we all go through hard times and unwanted energies um but try to keep a positive mindset don't go into paranoia thoughts i feel like some of you are really feeling this um really felt the full moon energy that just passed like maybe your mind was taking over, like, you know, you were really worrying. Hold on, guys. Yeah. Okay. So, Garnet. Purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. Okay, so do a detox. So some of you I'm getting do a detox, um... 
like a smoothie detox or something like that that will help you okay um they're asking me to pull one more card for you scorpio wow this is too many one more please spiritual protection you are being washed over and protected physically emotionally and, and, and energetically I do feel like some of you don't feel safe with this person and they're just you know just ask spirit like I said connect to spirit connect to your intuition to guide you and help you feel safe okay um, when it comes to this connection Okay, you all, I hope this helped you in some way, Scorpio. And if it did, please don't forget to give me a like. And also, if you want, you can subscribe down below. Hit that bell button. I wish you all the best and take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.